Hi guys, so Charlie DeVerst of the National Pig Association spoke to Eddie Mayer about the crisis his industry is facing as a result of Brexit. He spoke about how farmers aren't able to sell their pigs because processing plants don't have the staff. One of the responses from Brexiteers both inside and outside of government is that British people should do the jobs. For companies not to rely on foreign workers anymore and just hire local people. However, Charlie explained why this isn't a solution to the problem. Uh, when farmers place ads looking for people to, to fill these gaps, what's the response like? It's, it's very challenging. And, and food processing plants are, in particular uh, uh, tend to be very large operations in single places. So if you take somewhere like Hull, it's quite an interesting example. They, they've had a lot of vacancies that plants there, but Hull itself is a, an area of relatively high unemployment uh, in compared to others. And yet they can't fill the roles because there is a shortage of uh, in a skills gap there, butchery and other things, which, which perhaps are not popular jobs uh, in the UK. Um, and that's why we've been a bit reliant on, on foreign labour. It, it is a problem. Hopefully we could find a temporary and urgent fix to it. Some sort of COVID recovery visa, something would allow a temporary uh, release of, of, of workforce into the UK would be a really good way just to, for us to overcome this and then look at the longer term challenges of getting more British people into those jobs uh, to, to, to cover that labour shortage. Thanks for talking. So there are two things to talk about here. So first of all, this visa he's talking about. The problem with this type of response is that it would be temporary and it would not encourage people to move to the UK long term. Some people may want to move to the UK just to work in this industry for a number of months and then return back to their country. But many others would like to remain in the UK if they're well paid, if it's a good job, they may decide I would like to live in the UK, but a temporary visa wouldn't facilitate that. So you're automatically going to eliminate a certain section of the workforce. The other problem is training. He said that it takes, you know, there's mass un unemployment in certain parts of the country like Hull, where they would like to hire people, but they can't find the trained staff. And it takes time and money to train someone up to the level that is necessary to work in many of these industries. It's, you know, and we've seen it before, and you can apply this to most, most industries. It's cheaper to hire people from abroad. They come in trained with experience. It's much cheaper than taking people from the local community who have no training, no experience, and spending time and money training them up to the level of the people who could just come in tomorrow from another country. And as I said, you can apply this to doctors, nurses, to people working in any industry. But the response from Brexiteers is we just get British people to do it. But as Charlie has pointed out, there aren't enough British people trained up to do these jobs. So the fallback is a temporary visa. But I still don't think that's sufficient to fill this gap. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.